Hey everybody, Adam Markfeld with Paracore, and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the differences between Google AdWords and Facebook, and which platform makes the most sense for your business. Now, I like to think about the, the, these two different platforms as uh, you know, comparable to a phone book and a billboard. And the idea, the, the premise behind each platform working and not working is the intent behind the consumer's path to purchase when they're interacting with you as a business and they're trying to find your product and service, or maybe they're not trying to find it. So let's talk about AdWords first. With AdWords, someone goes to Google and they're looking for something very specific. They're looking for a product or a service, um, but they have this need that they're trying to fulfill. They're going to Google to help them find the result, to find a solution provider, and then they're gonna contact that person. So let's, uh, home services are a very common um, business type to be on AdWords and they work really well. So as an example, you might have an electrician, a plumber, HVAC, uh, pool service guy, landscaping, whatever the case may be. So when you need an electrician, you might go to AdWords and say, electricians in Phoenix, uh, electricians pop up, you see their ads, you click their ad, you then go to the landing page, and then you're gonna convert into a lead. You're gonna either fill out the form or you're gonna call, right? So that's like, that's how a consumer finds you. Their intent is to find a solution provider for that. And I liken that to a phone book because when, uh, before Google, when people used phone books, People would go to the phone book, they would look up uh, businesses by categories, so like lawyers or plumbers or whatever, and there would be a bunch of listings in there that people paid for. Um, you know, they were still paying for listings back then, so uh, you can pay for them now too. Uh, they would see for listings that people paid for, uh, you would then call them and you would convert. So it's like the intent is to find a solution provider for my problem. All right, now let's move into Facebook. Facebook has different intent. The intent of a Facebook user is not to be buying something at that specific moment in time. Now they do buy things at that moment in time. It's just like walking down the street and seeing a coffee shop and deciding to go in and buy a coffee. It's like when you're traveling and you're in Europe and you see gelato and you wanna buy some gelato, you don't have necessarily intent to buy that product or thing, but it appears, it, um, it seems interesting, um, it seems like something that you want, and then you go check it out, you, and then you buy it, you may not buy it, you may just check out the store, you might be window shopping in a boutique, and you see some things that you want, you buy those. So um, it's really putting it out in front of you that you might like, all right? So um, in Facebook, essentially what we're doing is we're saying, someone's on Facebook, they're in a community, they're interacting with their friends, looking at baby pictures and kitten pictures, and then based on demographic targeting, you're gonna show them an ad that they will hopefully like, because of their uh, gender, their preferences, their interests, their behaviors, whatever. And if they find interest in that, they're gonna click it. They're then gonna see some other sort of interaction. So maybe they're gonna see a lead form or go to a landing page. And then hopefully they're gonna learn more and convert into a customer. But, the, but the, the main distinction is that they had no intent, very little intent to purchase your services. They may have wanted your services, they may, have been thinking about it, maybe it's just a problem that wasn't big enough to solve right away, but they're not going to Facebook with the intent to um, you know, buy that pair of shoes, for example, that you know, Nordstrom showed you. So uh, Facebook has very different intent. People are, the intent of people being on there is to interact with their communities and they're being shown ads. And then in AdWords, you're not in there for the community aspect, you're going there to find a solution, all right? So Facebook is very much like a billboard. It's like you're driving on the highway and you're seeing a billboard and you see that service and then you're gonna consider um, buying that product when you actually need it, okay? Uh, I wanna use the, uh, so uh, businesses that work really well on Facebook are businesses that kind of appeal to more of an aspiration or something that you want to achieve rather than something that you have already gotten. So if you are, um, maybe if you're showing clothes to someone based on a demographic or you are like, like those meal prep delivery services, those are really, really, really good types of businesses to, to show on Facebook because someone didn't really think about that. I use TiVo as an example, but TiVo is like so old school that, you know, if you ran TiVo on AdWords when you very first started running AdWords, like nobody's searching for TiVo that records your TV. It's the same thing with the meal prep services. They can't run on AdWords to start because they created a market and no one was looking for them. So on Facebook, they pushed their product out, they created awareness, people bought, and now those businesses are on AdWords and people are searching for them because there's so many. So, um, so going back to our home services example, a home services company is not a great company to advertise on Facebook uh, from traditional audience targeting. Now, re retargeting is a little bit different conversation, but I don't want to, so I don't want to dig in there. Um, but for traditional audience targeting, you know, someone only needs an electrician when they need an electrician. The buying window is like a week, maybe it's a month. Uh, you only need a plumber. The buying window is like an hour. Like something goes wrong and you need someone to come fix your toilet. 
you're gonna solve that problem in about an hour. So if you're showing ads as a plumber to people on Facebook, they're not even in the buying behavior. You may be trying to create brand awareness, but your conversions are gonna be very low. So uh, on Facebook, again, it's all about brand awareness. It's all about showing your ad to people that maybe aren't aware of it. Um, but if there's high intent to purchase, then AdWords is typically a better spot because people are going somewhere to find a solution provider to convert, and, um, and that's what they do on AdWords. So um, that's it. That's kind of the difference between Google AdWords and Facebook ads when it comes to type of businesses. And really, it all boils down to intent. What is the intent of the consumer, and how does my business fit into that intent? And if they're not actively looking for something on Facebook, odds are the ads aren't gonna work for them. If it's something that you wanna show them that's new and cool and hip and maybe just fits in their demographic profile, like a sweet pair of shoes, then go for that. But when you're, um, when you're in AdWords, if someone's looking for something very specific, then go with that. And in AdWords, if someone's looking for something very specific, then you then use AdWords and show your ads to them uh, when they're ready to buy. So. Uh, that's all for today. Again, my name's Adam with Paracore. We're a pay-per-click lead generation agency in Phoenix. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, like the video and subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching.